Hello, uh, thanks to Miss. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is George. Um, I'm a software engineer at Facebook. In the past few months, I have been working on PyTorch and TorchText. So today, I'm going to talk one of our domain library, TorchText. First, why we want to have this uh, repo here? So a key focus area of TorchText is to provide some fundamental elements to accelerate NLP study. Those include some easy access to data set and uh, some basic processing pipeline. So the purpose for those is user could use those pipeline on some raw data um, based on this uh, operator. User can easily generate this data, pre-process, and send to their model. So we want to accelerate those uh, NLP process, so help our people focus on the model. So we provide them some easy access to the, da to the data. Okay. Um, next, uh, what's included in this new release? In this new release, we we'll include several popular supervised learning data sets with some easy one common data loading. I will show you an example later. So text classification is a very important NLP task with many applications, such as uh, sentiment analysis. The new release includes several popular text classification, like the AG News, Yelp for Review. Check out this data set. You may be interested about this data set. So each of this data set comes with two parts. One part is the training part and the test part. You can further split those, uh, the training and the data, test data set. You have the flexibility to split those data set. Um, each data set also supports the ngram feature, which, which you can use to capture the partial, info, uh, partial information about the local world order. Uh, so yeah, check out our uh, data sets, give us feedback. Uh, here's a very simple example. With this single line, you can load the data set AG News, and then another line, you can just uh, generate the vocabulary. So very easy to use this data set. So in addition to those data set, we also include a full tutorial to show how to use those data set for the text, text classification analysis. Uh, for a long time, our uh, GitHub user requests this kind of uh, tutorial. Uh, so this time we, we released this uh, full tutorial to show how to use, actually use our data set. Uh, in addition to those, we improved a few functions to, uh, to help you easier, easily implement future data set. So you can find more example on our GitHub. Um, yeah. um, so in addition to those domain library, if you know PyTorch also provide a lot of uh, tools to uh, load data. Uh, this includes some data loader and iterable data set. Check out, um, check out GitHub to see this. It may helpful for you uh, hack some this time. Okay, finally, I want to talk about the transformer model in our code library. It's not in a torch text, but it's very interesting. Uh, so in the PyTorch code library 1.2 release, we have a standard transformer model based on the paper. Attention is all you need. So transformer model is very high, has high quality for many sequence to sequence problem. Uh, it's rely entirely on the attention mechanism, which is the multi-high attention in our code library. Uh, it's, we use this transformer to see the dependency between the input and output. Uh, since the very beginning, we receive uh, many great feedback from our GitHub user. So we try to make our model very orthogonal which means you can just use the transformer, transformer decoder, transformer encoder, or even just the multi-high attention. You have the flexibility to use each individual component. Um, I also include an example here in our, on our GitHub to use this uh, transformer encoder for a world language model. So you can see how, how we implement this transformer for actual uh, NLP task. Okay, that's pretty much before I finish. Uh, if you have any question, we are happy to talk. Uh, feel free to reach out to us on GitHub, ask us questions, and uh, we have more documentation on uh, TorchText website. 
And uh, for this um, hackathon, uh, we have other uh, ecosystem like repo, such as uh, FireSeq, uh, LNLP, PyTorch Transformer. So if you plan to work on some NLP task, talk with us first. Very likely, you don't need to start your model from scratch. So you can borrow some model from those uh, our um, existing repo. Yeah. Thank you.